guys, good morning, what's up? I am Yalik, and we are back on my Bonner account. And I'm going to correct something I said yesterday. I made the uh, Lasertron video on this account, and I realized that I misspoke uh, partway through. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise a really cool video. These things are incredibly overpowered, and I have just been destroying my map with it. However, um, not quite as successfully as day number one. Uh, I, I did actually suffer some losses overnight here, and I really struggled with stage five on Dr. T today, uh, mainly because I wasn't getting the damage that I wanted, so I kind of broke all my rules this morning. Uh, I have gemmed Lasertron several times, which I never gem troops on this account. Um, let's see, I... Uh, hurried my sculptor along, so I gemmed that to finish so I could throw down uh, this 16% that I had in reserve, hoping that a little extra GBE would get me over the finish line. It didn't. Uh, I gemmed up uh, my third Lasertron, got that going, and even then I <laughs> actually I suffered an, an actual loss. I screwed up, and well, let's watch that. Is that the attack? That, yeah, that's the one I believe I want to watch. Uh, and I've got a couple of player bases here too. So, what I sp what I, I said yesterday <clears throat> that was uh, misspoken was that I said that these things can outrange uh, things like boom cannons and doom cannons. They can and they can't. Uh, what I meant by that is uh, you will. They have like a regular razor, laser, razor, laser. They have their uh, activated range, which you know when you click on any tower on the map, it shows you. Generally, it just shows you the range where it can shoot. However, with a laser, that's showing you its activated range, and it can shoot well beyond that. These guys have the same property, so right now they're shooting at something close by. But you'll notice um, right when they ch switch to another target. Uh, their their beam extends pretty much across the entire map, so they do actually just barely outrange things like snipers and mortars. Uh, mortars, if you have medics around, mortars aren't a problem anyway. You're about to see this sniper become a problem. Um, this the sniper is firing pretty rapidly, and since I'm down, uh, I've got three laser trons and I'm down one boat of medics. They're not healing up fast enough, and then this attack ends up being over. Uh, these definitely will not stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with a boom cannon or a doom cannon or a blaster. Um, grapplers are just bad news across the board. But they can outrange things like boom cannons, doom cannons, blasters because of that extra range on their beam. So what I've been working on a lot this morning is basically with these, it's kind of like playing pool. You're working on angles. So what you're trying to do is find an angle where you can be shooting at a primary target and then have uh, something like the Boom Cannon, Doom Cannon, Blaster be a secondary target in the back. And that is the way that they can take on those towers and defeat them pretty successfully, as you're seeing here. Uh, another thing that's good about that is that you can then put, you can use those angles to get damage on the HQ uh, for earlier in the attack, because later on in the, in the attack you're going to need that. So finally did find the formula after the first three tries I think uh, even with second wind I wasn't getting um, wasn't getting the damage and then oh I also boosted up a masterpiece uh, which I never ever do on this account I'm saving all of my power but I boosted up my damage masterpiece still didn't get it down got it down to like five percent just kept running into that situation over and over so finally I decided to go with the third laser drone. Uh, as you saw before, and not get it killed. So in this case, I deal with the sniper by staying beyond its range and then flaring. Uh, once we reflare to a spot where we're going to get an angle where we can do damage first to the primary target being the flamethrower and the secondary target, the sniper. And that ends up being the key to success here. Once that went down, I had no problems because this, this boom cannon is going to be attacked several times uh, before I get into its range and it will go down. And with the extra Lasertron, basically once these three towers go down, I can drop second wind and just work solely on the HQ. And the boom cannon goes down with a little bit of help. And then we flare in and finish it off. Um, so I have a couple of player base replays. That's, that's the trick with these guys. 
Uh, let's see, this is still going with two laser trons. Another thing I have noted. So I said that these guys have health similar to... Uh, they're not like tanks. They look like tanks, they're not like tanks. They have health more like a heavy. And that is the truth. Uh, however, what I wasn't real thinking of is I was thinking of max level. Max level tanks have more health than these guys do. Uh, low level tanks, actually, they are fairly comparable to my like level two or three tanks on this account. And so that means that they will be one-shotted by a boom cannon. They will also be uh, taken out in one hit by a boom mine. So watch out for the boom mines. And we're going to speed these up. So here, I mean, on this, we're working on the things that we don't like, such as that boom cannon, but we're doing it indirectly. This was, I think, with these two replays, one's like a 55, one's a 58 or something like that. I've just been, and here, again, working on a boom cannon, but working on it through the intermediary target, which is the machine gun. And down that goes. And eventually it becomes a matter of time, so we're going to want the rocket launchers to be down so that second wind can operate. And flaring. Getting a spot. Uh, eventually we're getting, you know, time becomes a factor, so you want... You, you do gain a bunch of GBE, so that's going to help later on. Um, you see right there, you, you gain a bunch of GBE by virtue of the fact that you're attacking three, four targets at a time. I believe this next attack you're going to see, so that was a 58, and this is a 55. So, is this the attack that I wanted? No. Oh. One of the attacks I did this morning, I literally had five defensive towers right in a row. They were all on a diagonal, and I was attacking five defensive towers at a time, and they all went down pretty much at the same time, so that's 15 GB, right? Yeah. You can do the math. 15 GB uh, all at the same time, and 5 towers down all at the same time. So, these things are truly just overpowered. However, they do require a little bit of finesse, and yesterday I had said you can just drop them and forget them. It's not quite so, quite so easy as that. You do have to watch out for the boom mines. In particular, with the regular mines you don't have to worry at all, but with the boom mines, now note... These things will clear mines, however, they will only do so after hitting their primary target. So if this boom mine were in back of this sniper, it would be cleared. However, these guys can't target the boom mine. They can target this. The boom mine is in front, so the laser beam doesn't seem to activate until it hits its primary target, and then everything behind it is fair game. But that boom mine is not going to go down here because it's, it's ahead of the primary target. So that's something I'm going to want to clear out along the way, because, again, they will absolutely one-shot uh, the laser trons. So, yeah, I mean, just staying out of range of big things, like with the tank, staying out of range the, with the big things that'll one-shot you, and um, using the angles, playing the angles to get your secondary targets down by way of targets in front of them. Anyway, that's all I have for today. These things are still ridiculous. I have, well, I've got my radar up going. That's 15, which means I'm going to have Everspark here in, oh, probably about tomorrow, which is amazing. And I can thank Lasertrons for that, because otherwise, I've just been just collecting. I, I started this this morning, and I've already got all of this back. I don't even quite know what to do with all the resources at the moment. So, thank you, Supercell. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Lasertrons. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got. I'm out. Have a great day.